We'll guide you through how to make a free Minecraft server on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So just before we get into the guide, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Just to show you some of their features, so you're going to get a 24 seven server and 24 seven support. You're not gonna get that when you've got your own Minecraft server on your computer, because you need to keep your computer on the whole time. So you'll probably have to turn it off. And also you get support with Apex as well instant setup, um, ultra low latency, DDoS protection. And also one of my favorite parts is, is that with a server with Apex, you don't have to give out your personal IP address, which you have to do when hosting on your own computer. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description, and you can get 25% off your first invoice as well. So go and check them out if you're interested, but back to the guide. So what we need to do firstly is go and get Java. Go and search to Java or just go straight to java.com and here we are and all you want to do is click on download java and scroll down and click on the download button again and it will then go and start downloading and we also need to get the java development kit as well so what you want to do is go and search for that like this and then scroll down and then go to oracle just here scroll down and select mac os and we've got two options we've got arm and then just x64 if your mac has an m chip then what you want to use is arm however if it's got an intel chip use x64 to check this, go to the top right of your Mac, click on the Apple logo and click on about this Mac. Find chip just here. And as you can see, I've got an M chip. And so therefore I need the ARM version. So I'll go over to the right and click on the download here and it's now downloading. So go and wait for this to finish. And we now need to install these. So just go to the top right. We'll start with the first one we downloaded and double click on it and then go and click on it again. And it will then go and open up. You need to confirm you want to open it up, which I do and then just follow the installer. It's super straightforward. Once it's been successful, then you can go and close off of it. And we then need to install Java JDK. So double click on that one and do the same thing. Go through the installer. Once it's finished, it will say install succeeded. You can go and close off of it. Next, we need to go and download the Minecraft server application. So just go and search for Minecraft server, just like so, and go and scroll down. And we want to go and get the Minecraft server download for Java edition, so click there. And then what you want to do is go and scroll down. And this is what we want here. So all you want to do is go and click on it just like this. And then you want to press allow and it will then go and start downloading. So wait for this to go and finish. Once it's finished downloading, then what you want to do is go and move the server.jar onto your desktop like this. And what you want to do is go and create a new folder for it. So right click or click with two fingers and click on new folder. And I just go and name this server just like so and then go and drag server.jar into it like that. And now once you've done that, we need to go and open up terminal. So to do that, you click on the search in the top right and then type in terminal just like so and run it. And now we need to go and run some commands. So firstly, you want to type in CD desktop just like so and then CD and the name of the folder. So in my case, I named it server. So for me, it's just CD server just like so. Next, type in java space dash jar space server dot jar like so. Press enter and then it says terminal would like to access files in your desktop folder. Press OK and it's now going to start running it. It will then go and say you need to agree to the EULA in order to go and run the server. So then what we can do is just go and find the EULA dot text here and double click on it. And what you need to do is make sure you agree to the EULA. So go and read that. I already do. Um, and then you can change EULA to true. So remove false and type in true. And then click on file and click on save just like that. Now come back to your terminal and you need to go and type in Java space dash jar space server dot jar again, like so. And then it's gonna go and launch. And you should then go and get this Minecraft server pop up. And as you can see, it's now generating the spawn area and essentially the world. Your server is now turned on, but at the moment only you can join it. So let's go and make it so your friends can join it and other people as well. So what you want to do is open your web browser again and you want to go and search for something called port mapper and also add coding monkeys as well as they actually made this. So go and search for it and then go to their website at the top here. And now all you want to do is go down for the users option and go and click on the um, screenshot here to go and download the application we take in here. And then what you want to do is go and click on the zip file. You'll need to go and allow it to download just like so. And as you can see, it's now here. 
And then what you can do is go and double click on it like this in Safari or from your downloads folder in the finder. You need to confirm you want to open it up. Port map will then go and open and you'll go and see these numbers. And these numbers are your IP address. And this is what people use to go and join it, but it's hidden because it's a personal thing. It shows your location and things like that. Using our sponsor, Apex Hosting can be better because you only wanna give this IP to people you trust and ultimately would probably invite your house. But what you want to do is go to the bottom left of the application and click on the plus button. And you want to go and type in your port, which is 25565, just like so. Make sure TCP is selected and then go and click on add mapping. And you should then go and see this green light to the right of it. And if you don't, you can always unselect it like so and then reselect it. If you still don't, then click it off and back on and it should appear. And so now people can go and join your server. Just remember, you'll need to have the Minecraft server application open and also the port mapping um, app open as well with it activated. In Minecraft, click on multiplayer and go to the bottom right and click on add server. And then what we can do is go and click on the server address box like this. And what you can do is you've got two options, either enter the IP, which is shown in port mapper, you type that in there, or you can go and type in localhost. Both are gonna join the server. You can use localhost because you're using your own computer, but other people will have to go and use the IP. Um, so yeah, you have to make sure you trust them with it. As, as I said, there's got a lot of security things around sharing your personal IP. And when you click on add, it should then appear and we can go and click on join server. And here we are on the server. As you can see, it is that simple. And you can then go and start playing with your friends. Now, as I said, if you aren't getting on well with this and you're finding it too difficult, then Apex are probably a great alternative. Once you finish with your server, then you can just come back to the Minecraft server application, type in stop, and hit enter, the server will go and close. And you can then quit off port mapper as well. And then to go and start it again, all you need to do is you'll need to go and open up terminal. And from terminal, you'll need to type in CD desktop and then type in CD and the name of the folder. In this case, I named it server. So it's super easy, CD server, dash jar, and then the server dot jar, just like so. Hit enter and it will then go and start it again. And as you can see, it's now running. And then what you'll need to do is go and open up Port Mapper again and make sure that's got that green light and it will then be back online. You can join it and other people can as well.